the concept that Native American cultures consist of small bands of hunter-gatherers living in harmony with nature may be partially true. But it's much further from the truth as we uncover more and more evidence to suggest otherwise. Now, as far as astronomy and mythology is concerned, before the age of GPS and compasses, people looked to the stars to find their way. And before civilizations knew what stars were, people formed their own beliefs about the significance. In North America, indigenous tribes had differing ideas about what the stars meant, some believing that the night sky had a spiritual meaning and some attributing human-like qualities to the twinkling objects. And the archaeoastronomy that this culture, these Native Americans, knew, well, in recent decades, it has come to light that the ancestral Puebloans established an impressive base of calendrical knowledge. And the knowledge was embedded not only in the community design, but the architecture of their structures. And these alignments were intentional. They were sky watchers. They were cosmologists. And there's more. 800-year-old spiral rock carvings mark the solstices as well as the equinoxes for Native Americans. We've known this for 40 years now. This is a 1980 paper identifying solstice and equinox petroglyphs in the northeastern Utah and their cultural relations. I'll leave you links to this below. It is fantastic. And what these uh, archaeologists did was go out during the solstice and the equinox and actually watch these spirals get cut in exact positions. Exactly at the moment of the passing. And, and this would be the equinox and the solstice. And so we're now uncovering what some of these glyphs may have meant. This might be some other timing mechanism. There are many ancient sites aligned with the solstice and equinox. And the most famous is the Sun Dagger site, made famous by Carl Sagan in a video in the 70s, I think, when it was discovered, I believe in 79. The Sun Dagger site, the most famous site in Chaco Canyon, is located at the southeastern facing cliff near the top of Fajita Butte. Three large stone slabs, which are now believed to be actually positioned to make this sun, sun dagger occur. I'll leave you links to all of the information on the sun dagger and the sun dagger explorer model. And we'll watch a small short video on that because it's fascinating. Documentation of the Sun Dagger Explorer exhibit at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. The exhibit is a fully interactive 3D recreation of a 1,000 year old astronomical calendar site on top of Fajada Butte in Chaco Canyon, New Mexico. These three stone slabs cast patterns of light and shadow to mark the cycles of the sun and moon on spiral patterns carved into the rock wall. A control console in front of the high-definition video display provides information about the spiral markings and provides interactive controls designed to allow for one or multiple users to interact at a time. Five buttons on the console can jump directly from one seasonal event to the next for the sun, showing the patterns of light created on the spiral to mark the winter solstices, the spring and fall equinox, and the dagger of light marking the summer solstices every year. Two buttons for the moon reveal the shadow lines at moonrise for the 18.6 year cycle of the minor and major standstills. The trackball control on the console allows viewers to navigate the camera around the site and the camera fluidly shifts its rotation to view the eastern horizon where we can see the moon's location relative to the shadow lines it creates. The highly accurate ephemeris calculations are done in real time for every frame and vector lines are drawn to show the path of light tracing back to the sun and the moon in the sky. A flywheel knob on the control panel allows users to manipulate time with the ability to slowly move shadows across the spiral or turn the knob quickly to watch the sun and moon pass overhead.
Absolutely fantastic. I'll leave you links to that. Watch the whole video. And get up to speed on how impressive the scientific knowledge of the native people of North America were, period. And then there's the Mesa Prieta Petroglyph Project and the Equinox Animal Flute Player. And I witnessed this myself, not on the Equinox, but we were here and we got a private tour and we saw this petroglyph. And this is another uh, Equinox marker. And they, they claim that 400 to 650 years ago, this petroglyph was pecked into the rock. And it was created so that only at midday of the vernal and autumnal equinoxes, a shadow will grow and turn to align itself with the outline of the animal's back. And this is a very rare type of phenomena when it comes to petroglyphs. But it's my belief that there are many glyphs that may be doing this. And we are just, we've just begun uncovering some of this ancient hidden knowledge. And so let's just check this out. Very interesting and worth the watch. And so here we are. As that shadow comes down, and will perfectly wait till you see this. <laughs> it's amazing. Wait for it. This is the Equinox flute player at the Wells Petroglyph Preserve. You can there will be a site link below. You can donate to the site. You can go get a tour there. You can even go on this day and witness what happens here. On the Equinox. Absolutely stunning. There's a lot we don't know. And there's a lot more we need to uncover. But one thing is for certain. There is lots of missing information. And slowly but surely, we're uncovering it. Thank you for watching. Share this with like-minded people. Comment below if you have any questions. And there's more to be revealed.